Hi, and welcome back to the Consult a Counselor series. In this series, I answer parenting related questions so that you can be present and at ease with your child and live life mindfully. Today's question is, how on earth do I limit my kids' screen time? <laughs> and that makes me laugh because it's having a young child myself. It is quite a challenge. And not only to limit our kids' time, but also if we notice how much time we spend on our devices, it is a shocker. You could actually check this out. I'm an iPhone user. So you can actually check this out by going into your settings and really seeing how much screen time do you get a day on your phone. And that does not include the time we spent looking at TV, whether it be at the news or just entertainment or Netflix. So yes, it is a challenge, but do know that it is very possible. So the first thing that we need to keep in mind is that we want to be realistic. Everything that I've read always says that for school-age children, they should not get more than one to two hours of screen time during their day. And realistically speaking, in this world that we're living in today, they're on their screens at school when they're on their Chromebooks or devices, and then they use screens for entertainment purposes as well. So it may be more than one or two hours, but we want to make sure that they are using it one effectively and appropriately, and two that there that isn't the only way that they are being entertained. Something else that we want to keep in mind is that we want to make sure that we push our kids to go out outside and play. And I know that's not always possible depending on where we live and how we live, but we want to have areas for our kids to interact with other people, to practice those social skills and to get out of the home. Because when in the home, it's very easy to just turn to our devices. Now, when we are in the home, you may want to set up areas that are device free zone. So for example, perhaps at the kitchen table or dining room table when you're eating dinner, perhaps in their rooms, maybe kids can't have a TV or their Chromebooks in their rooms and they have to use it in a public area space like a living room. Something else that we can do, especially when our kids are young so that we implement these rules as they grow is create rules with them so that they know when they can and when they cannot use their devices. So for example, in my home, my son knows that he cannot go on his switch until after three o'clock on the weekdays and after 12 o'clock on the weekends. And this is something that we create together. We write it down. We post it somewhere clearly where he can see and always have that visual reminder of that time frame. You may want to also implement that you don't provide the Wi-Fi password to your home until they do a few things that they must do throughout the day. So perhaps homework on the weekends, perhaps chores. For those who have older children, it's really important to keep in mind that you may have more power of their device than you think. If your device is connected to their device, you can put up timeframes so that apps won't work after a certain amount of time or that the apps won't open after a certain time. Now to do this, you really want to make sure that you understand your device depending on what you use. And you also want to make sure that your devices are connected. And if you have their password, you may have more power in your hands so that once they've used all the time on a certain app, then they can't open that app again until the following day. We also want to make sure that we are involved on the apps and on the devices and games that our kids are using and seeing and partaking in on a daily basis. It's really important for us to take active roles as parents and not to be passive in the backseat because they will always outsmart us in terms of the things that they know about technology. But if we stay up with them and ask questions, then we can hopefully stay at the same level. And overall, once we put rules into place, the most important thing is to be 
consistent. If you enforce the rules one day and not the next, kids as early as three years old definitely pick up on that. And then it's harder to enforce the rules. So we have to make sure that we are consistent with our efforts and also that our kids understand why it is that we don't want them in front of a screen all day. If they have more information, then they're less likely to think that you're just being mean and more likely likely to understand why it is. Doesn't mean they're going to like it, but at least they have more information. I know it's tough, but I do hope this helped. If you think that this could help a mom or a dad friend, be sure to share it with them. And I welcome you to subscribe to my podcast as well so that you don't miss the next one. If you have any questions for a consultant counselor, you can always email me at hello at free to be mindful.com or DM me on Instagram at counselor V to Jesus. And remember in a world where you are free to be anything that you want to be, you are always free to be mindful. Thanks so much and catch you next time.